I'm John D. Arman with the Kokia Valley Sword Group. And I'm Edward. And today we're going over Kazuki. Kazuki is one of the final kata in the Tachi Seho. Um, and at first it looks a lot like Haritsuke, but there are some pretty notable differences. So let's go ahead and uh, explore them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kata. Um, for this one, we're going to demonstrate it from both sides so that you can see uh, either side of the interaction. As always, I will be Uchidachi and Edward will be Shidachi. We'll go ahead and reverse it. Good. So, looks a lot like uh, Haritsuke, but we're going to go ahead and talk through some of the differences. So, the beginning is the same as with most of the kata. Go to Gaidon, or Chudon. I pull into Hasso, he drops to Gaidon. Now, I step, he steps, we take the next step, and he grips the rear of the sword in that Soitezuki pinch grip, right? He waits, I take my third step, right? He's trying to bait me in saying, I'm not gonna come closer, you gotta come to me. Okay, okay. I come in and I think, I can make this cut, right? I'm just gonna pop in right towards his head. Pop. He receives me with the edge on the side of my sword and then rolls over the mune, pinning my sword down onto his hip armor. Right? He's in this crossed position. He wants to get his hand strongly either on my wrists or on the sword to really sort of lock this sword in place. Um, next, he steps, bump, into Koshimi Hanmi, uh, taking me in the diaphragm into the lower half of the heart. I clear out low, I clear out wide, he follows into Chudon, pressing me all the way through. Then we go through Kamayotoku, I drop the Tate Zen, he drops the gate on, we chicken step, and we make our retreat. So the uh, big difference here, right, in uh, Haritsuke, uh, when this parry happens, Right, it's a strike, clear, and thrust. With Kazuki, uh, Kazuki means lots of happiness. <laughs> As the cut comes, we're pinning the sword and engaging them. Now, with, uh, we'll talk about more of the, the specifics of how and why we're doing this in the application video, which comes up next. Um, places where people get harked up on this kata um, is taking their sword and making a large circle to drive that sword into the leg, right? Uh, the motion is not... Uh, this, right? We're not trying to drive the edge of their sword. 
what we want to do is as we come through, we come up, ba. More like a raindrop. Yeah, yeah. We come up, we catch the side of it, and we come over the back. Their force should go down, not into our leg. So the wrong way, bop. The right way, right? Now, um, this, this kata is really cool, um, not because it's a piece of work that uh, personally I, I use very often or anything like that, or that it has some deep technical understanding into to Masashi's mindset, but because it uh, gives us an insight further into Hyoho's history, right? Uh, in the West especially, there's this myth that Musashi never trained in any kind of formal school of fencing and that he just like magicked fencing out of his head and it was so great and it beat everyone and he's A number one. Um, the truth is of course uh, not even remotely like that. Musashi learned and received Menkyo Kaiden, the highest uh, level of training from his father Munasai in the art that Munasai had developed. Um, so maybe his father Munisai was some kind of super genius that just pulled fencing out of his head. No, of course not. Munisai developed his art out of their grandfather's art. Um, and their grandfather's art was even further a derivative of a very old school of fencing, uh, Take no Uchi Ryu. Um, what's cool is that in Take no Uchi Ryu, uh, which is still existent today, um, primarily known for its grappling, they have this exact same kata, but uh, in, their, in their short sword work, right? I mean, they may have it in their long sword work. I'm not a member of their school, so I don't, I don't know their katas, right? Um, but same work, uh, same construction. So it's, um, it's, it's just a cool little uh, hark back that you can look at it and go, oh, this is where this comes from. This is, is the work's sort of heredity, right? So. Uh, other than that, uh, the kata as it's done as a kata is fairly simple. The application video is going to be a little bit more in depth because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, but for now, I think that's I think that's okay. So, as always, if you want to understand this work, you have to pick up a sword and go train. Mm -hmm.